Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Arlene and I am the tutor for silent math. Today, I wanted to show you how to find the area of irregular figures. But before I do that, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe and hit the bell button to notify you when I upload the next video. All right, let's get started. Looking at our example one, it looks like we have a semicircle on top and a rectangle on the bottom. By finding the areas of each of those pieces and then adding them together at the end, we'll be able to calculate the total area of this irregular figure. So the area of a regular circle is pi r squared. But since we have a semicircle, that's half. So we're gonna divide that area by two and that formula represents the area of a semicircle. So I'm gonna use 3.14 as pi. Notice how we're going to need our r value. So r represents radius and that is from the center of a circle to the edge of it. We have diameter. As you can see, the diameter is 14. So all we need to do is take half of that value and we'll be able to find the radius. So the radius is going to be seven millimeters. So I'm gonna plug in seven millimeters for r and i'm going to square that divide it all by two i'm going to simplify down here now 3.14 if i were to simplify that squared keep in mind that that needs to be distributed to each term the number and the measurement so seven squared is 49 and then millimeters squared is going to be millimeters squared all in the parentheses we're going to divide that by two now putting these values into your calculator you're going to get 76.93 millimeters squared. So we just found the area of that semicircle, which is this top portion. To finish off this problem, I need to find the area of the rectangle. So I'm gonna use the color blue. So an area of a rectangle is length times width. Another formula that you may be used to is base times height. They're the same thing. So I'm gonna say my base is 14 millimeters and my height i'm gonna say is 10 millimeters and 14 times 10 is 140 and then millimeters times millimeters is millimeters squared and as i said earlier to find the total area i'm going to add the two smaller areas that we just found so total area is equal to 76.93 millimeters squared plus 140 millimeters squared and we're going to get 216.93 millimeters squared. Moving on to example two, we have a very large rectangle that has a little piece cut right in the center right there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut it up into three smaller shapes and then find the area of each part. So I'm gonna cut it up like this because I'm gonna end up with two squares and then that very long rectangle on the side. I'm gonna label each part. So I'm gonna say that part one, part two, and then part three. So what I'm gonna do is find the areas of each. First, I'll find the area of this square. So that square, if you can see, has dimensions three by three. And we know that the area of a square is equal to side squared, and each side is three centimeters. So I will put three centimeters in the parentheses. I'm gonna square Everything inside, I'm gonna distribute that. So three squared is nine, and centimeter squared is just centimeter squared. I'm gonna show you part two. So part two also has dimensions three by three, which is the exact same one as, fig or as part one. So I'm gonna label area sub two, right? Because that's part two. Same thing, it's gonna be nine centimeter squared. Now I'm gonna name the first part a sub one. Now to solve the last part of this figure, I want to find the part in yellow, which is a rectangle. So the area of a rectangle is going to be base times height or length times width, whichever you feel comfortable with. Now the base of this, we're not sure, but we can find it. So if the whole thing has a measure of six centimeters and a piece of it is three centimeters, the rest of it is going to be six minus three centimeters, which is three. So the base is three centimeters. The height is really simple. It's 11 centimeters. And three times 11 is 33. Centimeters times centimeters is centimeters squared. So we have the area of that portion. Now to find the total area, we need to add up all those pieces together. So total area is equal to nine centimeters squared 
plus nine centimeters squared. Those were the areas of the two smaller squares and plus the rectangle, so 33 centimeters squared, leaving us with 51 centimeters squared. I hope you found that lesson helpful. Check back tomorrow for a brand new video. And again, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button for those notifications. I'll see you next time. Bye.